Daniela is really fun and outgoing and spirited and has like a lot of heart. Um, but she has this immense curiosity for uh, the afterlife and supernatural. Because of that, when I find out about the Warrens and what they do and everything and that Mary Ellen's been babysitting their child, I kind of invite myself over. Daniela and Mary Ellen are best friends. Uh, Mary Ellen's a little bit more of the, uh, the straight-edged one of the two of us, the more logical thinking and everything like that. And Daniela's a little more like me, a little bit more free-spirited, and will get you out of your bubble, and is kind of that friend that like prods a bit too much. And um, um, that, that's sort of our relationship, is like the balance is what makes this work. When you take away Ed and Lorraine or anyone who's really knowledgeable on the, the topic, you're now putting the audience in the same place as the characters, which is absolutely terrifying, um, that we all have no idea how to handle this. <laughs> and um, I think that's, that's really scary. And it also is a little bit of a fun adventure as well, having kids versus evil creatures. Having Patrick and Vera in the film is a, really, really cool, I think, to get to work with them. They're amazing. And B, um, it's cool that it, you know, they're kind of tying in the, the Conjuring films with the Annabelle films, which is really cool. And it's, um, yeah, mixing the two worlds, or, well, I mean, it's the same world, but mixing the two storylines together. Um, I think it's going to be really cool for people who were fans of the Conjuring first um, to see them again in this. So um, one thing that I think makes the Annabelle doll really terrifying too is that the idea that she could be in any little girl's room, you know, putting a, putting a demon in a, in a spot of vulnerability in someone's life, especially a child's, is absolutely terrifying. Um, that's why I was afraid of my doll growing up. It's um, taking an innocent thing and kind of corrupting it. Um, and so I think that's one thing that really makes her absolutely horrifying. The thing about James is I think he, they just, he just mastered the whole horror thing with the story, like caring about the story. You're not just going to be scared. Um, you're going to see a good film. Um, I think that's what made James so successful was finding... Um, the balance between the two and having that happy medium. And he's just a really good storyteller as well. I, I love Gary, there are no words. He's, he's so amazing. He really knows what he's doing and loves it, which comes across, I think, in his work and all his films. Um, as a director, he has been so much fun to work with and he's really collaborative with all of us. So any questions we have, he's right there to answer them. Um, he's really efficient in that. And uh, if we have any ideas or we want to, like, kind of spitball ideas with him, he's there for that. Uh, he's, and he's just so nice. He doesn't make you feel intimidated ever. If he's ever stressed out, I don't think I've seen it or I haven't noticed. Um, and he's just got this, like, calm control over everything. I think a huge reason why people love these films so much is the heart that, you know, James and Gary and everyone that's involved puts into these films. The characters, um, they have a way of writing it so that you, you really want to know about the characters and the storyline and not just the horror elements of it.